just getting open and uh, knocking down shots, playing in a good rhythm. So you see a few go in, and then all you need is a little space. But uh, give credit to my teammates. I got a lot of a lot of good shots off uh, offensive rebounds and all shots from the offense. So it's not like I was doing anything. Just more volume, but nothing I don't do usually. Just try to get open and shoot that shot. Ramona? This is that early start game in LA. How locked in were you guys to just be ready for this early on? Oh, uh, we uh, well, we have our eyes on the you know other teams playing, and you see uh, Houston being up 3-0, chance to close it out. We didn't want to extend this series any longer because we know how early the playoffs can be. We already let one slip away, so tonight we came in with that mindset to you know put our you know foot on the throttle and now let go. So we let go on game two, and we won't do that again the rest of the playoffs. I really believe that. Uh, TBJ of Hoops and Brews. Uh, Clay, um, when you're in those situations where you get hot in the first half, um, I believe you had 25 in the first half, uh, what's your mentality going into the second half? Is it more so to continue to play within the flow, or is it to kind of just be a little bit more aggressive? Yeah, that's definitely the, the former. Just play within the flow. I'm not good when I'm forcing the forcing shots up. That's not my game. I got to work off my teammates. I got to play within the offense that Steve has, you know, laid out, which has been great for us. I mean, since he's been here. And um, yeah, when I play within that flow, that's why I have huge nights. I'm not just trying to go out there and hunch for great shots, but not settle for you know contested looks. Just because I've made a lot of shots in the first half, but to be patient and we're on the defense, let my other teammates get involved as well. I assume you're referring to Houston going up 3-0, right? Was that part of the decision to just move practice early yesterday? Was that I mean, you, It's not often you see an NBA team wanting to practice at like 9 a.m. on a Saturday. I don't think so. I actually believe we had the 9 a.m. start time to get us ready for the day. I'm not a morning person, so uh, it was a struggle to get up and practice Saturday. I felt like I was back at Santa Margarita. <laughs> it was fun, man. Anytime I'm playing Staples, I really enjoy it. And especially, I was so lucky as a kid to come here and watch playoff games, not be a part of it. Um, it's a real joy, joy for me. Clay, Chris with the Fantasy Sports Game. Uh, can you talk about the impact Steph had? You know, he didn't shoot the ball that well. Can you talk about his impact on the floor with, along with you guys? He still stuffs the stat sheet. I think he had close to 10 rebounds. Makes some great passes, had timely steals. And he did make some huge shots for us when we had nothing going to offense, man. That step back on the left wing was a huge nighter for our offense. And even when he's not shooting well, we still trust him to take the any shot he takes. I mean, he's proved it with his uh, his career and his track record. You know, greatest shooter and scorer probably of all time. Clay, what do you think Alfonso has shown you these first two playoff games? Oh um, man, his ability to rebound at the two guard spot is huge for us. He creates so many extra possessions. We had a huge floater tonight, some big, big putbacks. And he's, what a season he's had. To go from Luxembourg to playing in the NBA playoffs for the defending champs. It's an amazing story, and he deserves it because he works so hard. Marty Poole, NBC Sports Bay Area. Steve was in here earlier, and he said that. When you go on one of those runs, it's like the whole team feeds off of it. The bench gets livelier and everything. Do you sense that? Do you see that? Do you feel that? I definitely feel it. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been in that position too on the bench. When I see Steph and KD go off, it's the same thing. But, um, I mean, it feels good to get your teammates up. That's what you play for. You do it together. And I can definitely feel it when, you know, we got it going. I'm Connor Alterno, San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, Clay, whenever you feel like you have a bad game, I know you kind of try to, you know, do something to get yourself going. Did you do anything the past couple days to get yourself going tonight? Oh, man, I did a couple things. I didn't think I had bad games, but I didn't have any big games. I told Jonas yesterday, we went to the beach, played some volleyball. I'm like, yo, I'm just going to jump in the ocean. I just know that would reset my mind, and it worked. So I don't know if I'm going to jump up north because it's freezing, but <laughs> something I'll definitely contemplate if I don't shoot the ball that well the rest of the year. But hopefully that doesn't happen. Anybody else? Oh, one more. Sorry, one last one. You don't mind, Craig? Gary George, Inland Valley News. Clay, talk about the momentum you guys took to overtake the Clippers when they had, a, I think, a five-point lead. You guys came out here tenacious and took the lead back. Yeah. We're lucky. We have a lot of experience. It's not the, not the first time we've been down, you know, going into a fourth quarter, 
up up in the series or down in the series. So we know just to play a poise, patience, and play together. If we do those three things, um, we're almost unstoppable, especially when we're locked in mentally. So we weren't that worried. You know, we know they're a good team. They got some great scores. They're gonna make a run. We just can't let them deflate you. Thank you, Clayver. Thank you for being here.